Hello and welcome to Dancer Support Mission by Sabine Chalon for Shine Your Light. Today we have a new episode of Dancer to Dancer Words of Wisdom. The goal of those interviews is to meet the person behind the dancer and share with you all not only the highlights of someone's career but also the challenges behind the scenes. Truly my wish is to bring healing into the dance world. Dancing to heal, healing to dance, one artist at a time and one personal story at a time. Hopefully this will um, allow you to embark or reflect on your own personal healing journey inspired by others' experiences. So today I'm delighted to welcome Elias Garcia, I hope I say that right, who is the director of Ballet de Catalunya in Barcelona. Yeah. So uh, thank you so much for taking the time to be with me. I know you're super busy, so welcome and thank you. No, thank you to you to invite me and share with you and all your followers the, this conversation. <laughs> Great. Thank, thank you very much. So Elias, um, you're going to have to tell us a little bit about you. And usually we start with <laughs> how you started dancing, why you chose this profession, and when did you decide to do it you know, uh, professionally, I mean, it's something to dance, you know, a lot of kids dance as kids, but then mm -hmm. it's, it's something else to decide to embark on a professional uh, path with this. So, um, I think I have not a, a really ordinary uh, approach of dance because my beginning, my first time put my hand at the bar and See my the first position were, was when I was seventeen years old, so one seven, and um, it was like um, I don't know. It was in this moment in Spain was the 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 city uh, fame, and that opened me to a new world, something who uh, I was I I was born in one little town with. Uh, dance never arrived for sure and we never have the opportunity to go to the big city i i live near to barcelona but uh, i never be in, in in the big city and i discovered this these new things to express things um, with the body and that was a, a very nice surprise to me dance don't exist before just not before 17 nothing no nothing no, I was uh, a, a child who got to play play with the friends in the street and I was all the time on the street. I was a nice student and I really liked to study. I really liked mathematics, physics, and I was all the time with this. I, I was working with the church, like helping the little one and doing, doing things, but uh, dance is, don't exist until this moment so i was a little bit curved like this and doctor said you need to go to swim and i said i don't like swim and going to the swimming because i start to swim but i don't like i i start to i saw the class of dance and i said oh so the same thing i saw in the tv i i saw here so i i i want to go and uh, like that i i my my physical was uh, ready to dance for sure you had not. a good teacher i suppose i have yes i have a very nice teacher the first teacher was she she said i'm sorry you cannot stay here anymore you need to do something better and i say mm, okay but you need uh, so she said we go to prepare you to go to the conservatory in barcelona institute del teatro and I say, okay, listen, that is the paper, you need to learn the names. And I say, um, <laughs> yeah, Fondue, <laughs> Pas de Basque, <laughs> Glissade Assemblée. And I say, what is what this? And she, she started with me just uh, telling me this combination. I do the auditions, she take, they take me. And after this, I stay one year in Institute del Teatro. Maria de Avila, she see me and she give me uh, a scholarship. To, to study with her in uh, Madrid and Zaragoza. Mm -hmm. We make some, uh, some performance with the school. I stay with her three years. 
And this last year, we made this um, like gala. And I was doing the Padre de of Nutcracker. Uh, Mauro Galindo come to see the, the show. And this night, he gave me a contract. <laughs> it was like this. <laughs> I started uh, working in a company. So how I don't know. Years, three years. Yes, yes. I was three years with Maria de Avila. For sure, I work ten in the morning, eight in the night. So uh, <laughs> yes, it, it was like uh, Anatra, you know, in Christmas time before to do the foie gras. It's like steps, steps. <laughs> It's like, that's, that's the area where I live, you know, that's where they do that with ducks, you know, <laughs> force fed them. Yeah, and uh, uh, Mauro Galindo, I, he believed on me and, uh, you know, I started in this company with another many dancers and it was so good. And uh, Mauro it was a, a very nice teacher and a very nice director with a... Uh, you know, a view like where he want to bring the company um, very clear. And that's why he chose, like he was a dancer in Stuttgart and for sure he knows very well, but he made like uh, Uwe Scholz, like Kranko, like uh, Foresight. And uh, so that was, uh, I continue to learn. I continue to learn and discover things, you know? another way to move with one body, how many things you can do differently. You know? So I stayed two years and a half in, uh, in El Ballet de Zaragoza. I just uh, see one, uh, one in one newspaper, I see we need dancer in Monte Carlo. So I go to Monte Carlo, I make the audition and he said, yes, you need to be here in three, in three days. And I say, hmm, okay, I'll do. <laughs> And you had the first show in one week or 10 days, I don't remember. And it was like this. And one more time, I start to discover much things. Because in this moment was all the um, ballet risk program. So we have two different programs. And uh, like I tell you for sure, I was a dancer. I do things in Ballet de Zaragoza, but I, I was not really interested in history. No, I just want me and what I need to do. But in this moment, I, I discovered like uh, the... Uh, Heritage, right? Like... Um, yes, like uh, many choreographers like La Guette Parisienne, La Primitive Danfone, Les Sylphides, uh, I don't know, the, the dance of Prince Igor and Petrushka. And I discovered all these new things and, and was now I need to learn a little bit about history. Mm -hmm. And at the same moment, we start with all the balancing things. So another thing, I never listen about balance. You know, it's, it's a new, all the time information, information. That's why my period formation, this, this period was never boring because I had all the time something new in front of me. And that opened me the, all the sense in my to 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 have I, I want to discover more because I say if I don't look for nothing and I discover all these things, how many things that can be in the world who I cannot imagine. Yeah. Well I mean it's true the dancers need need to be fed, right? The more they fed, like the more colors you have, the, the more you can grow. So you were yeah. lucky because you had a lot of different influences in a very short time. Yeah, and uh, the new director arrived, Jean Christophe Maillot, and I was thinking I'm not ready to, to, to work with one choreographer, contemporary choreographer, because I never did that. Mm -hmm. And it was so complicated for me, and I think I need to, to, to arrive here to, to, to work with one choreographer, good choreographer like Jean Christophe Mayo, with another preparation. I, I, I was, you know, clear with myself. I cannot be here because I'm not able to do like you asked me. Because it's like my English is terrible, but I try to say, <laughs> but you know, you need these three words to, to try to explain something, but you need this three things to, to explain. And in this moment, I, I, 
I have not the possibility to, to do. So I want to continue to, to improve myself, to continue to do things. And I was, and I make a vision in Valentino, and I have a contract. I discovered much new things. The approach of the contemporary was a little bit much in progression. Mm -hmm. And I finished doing creation with Maris Delan, who was the last director, a very contemporary uh, a choreographer, French choreographer, Maris Delan. Mm -hmm. um, but there I was ready to approach one creation with one choreographer, contemporary, much contemporary choreographer. And at one point, like, um, I, uh, I was a little in injury with my knee. In this moment, I make the diploma data and I discover another thing. I really like teacher. I really like be front to the students. So after my injury, I do all the all I need to do, the, the work to, to be on sharp and start to dance another time. And when I saw I'm good, I decide to stop. I think it's moment to stop and it's moment to start another thing. In this moment, I have the opportunity, and uh, Susanna Egri from Italy, she gave me the opportunity to, to come with her in Turin and be the assistant to her. And I stayed uh, two years and a half, three years, and I really learned the... Um, she is... Uh, all not young people, I say. She she has a very very uh, experience, and I was near to her to try to understand, not to copy, just to try to understand what I can use to be a good teacher. Mm -hmm. Because she has this long, long, long experience like teacher, and she made. Um, many many good dancers so in, uh, in well it's one, normal to be inspired by others anyway yeah yeah i think that you know you never you if you start and you want to be original i think you you don't arrive at the moment you start copying or following someone at one point you start to identify things Mm -hmm. And you do by your colors, not the colors to the other. So, and maybe in this moment you start to be original, but not because you want to be, if not because you arrive to be. Yeah. Well, it's I, also your personality plays a big role also in, in mm -hmm. how you teach. Okay, mm -hmm. I would like to take a moment, please. Okay, we're going to come back in a, in a second. Wait a second. 